It can't be that bad, oh, 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 it can't be that bad. Superman flies, what part of his body is sore? Hmm, yeah, what are you doing? Maybe his, his shoulders. His butt? His sh- oh, he flies, he doesn't put his <laughs> arms up on his, any... his butt. He just clenches the whole time. <laughs> he, he does that. Something's hurting, right? Something has to be Something exhausting. Something has to be like, yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. got to get tired. Well, like when you fly above the ozone layer too, right? Like you'd have to, I mean, you it's get rid easier. of a lot of gravity. Yeah, but you well, lose, uh, but you're so used to it is that resistance. when you, when, yeah. And, but when you're not used to anything or any sort of like element. But also Superman could just get, his pain tolerance is incredible. That's so if he's super, if what? he's exceeded the ozone layer, he could breathe. Outside of the ozone, he doesn't need oxygen. Uh, right? He does need yeah, oxygen, does. but he can I hold his know. breath for Still a can. long, long, long time. Ah, there we go. He so. also has a rebreather that he keep, that he wears sometimes when he has to go into deep space missions. Mm-hmm. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, welcome to another episode of ICBTB Podcast. Podcast. My name is Alejandro. My name's Christian, and we have a very special guest here today. Her name is Jordan. Jordan, Yay. say your last name. Jordan. Chattel. And your social security number? <laughs> no. Okay, we tried. Sorry. Sorry, Alejandro Credit keeps thieves. trying. We're... One day he'll get it right. Hey. I, I'm very positive. Yeah, I and guess then he'll your be middle behind name right. bars. You did. That was so crazy. Um, What's your middle name? Marie. 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 Yeah, I think one in every eight girls has to have the middle names either Evelyn or Marie. See, and yet somehow you had Yours no idea. Yours is Evelyn. Mine is Marie. Or Lee sense. or Lay, however you spell it. L E I G H. Yeah. Or L E A H. Or Lynn. Or Elizabeth. Lynn is Lynn. Or... No, hang on. Elizabeth is, Elizabeth is pretty common. Lynn is like an addition that people add to names to make them spicy. And I'm saying that fully knowing that my sister in law is listening to this and her name is <laughs> Ashley Lynn. Did she do that to herself Stop. or her parents? Yeah, well, she named her daughter Mackenzie Lynn. Yeah, I mean, you could so do that to your kids. It's just like spicing up a name, you throwing a Lynn in there. But people don't do that to themselves. Be like, mm, no, no, no. My no. name's no. Christian Lynn. <laughs> well, when you name your son Christian Lynn. No, fuck that. Mine's... Or your daughter, Christian Lynn. No, she'll she'll have a beautiful name. Christina Lynn. It'll be something. I don't know what it is. Not Christina. I don't want to just... How about, how about Nevea? No, what? Don't... Such you're not suggesting player. kid names to me right well, now. It's heaven backwards. Uh, That's very interesting. My best friend's name is Carolyn. That's like... It, but it's Kara. K-A-R-A. Lynn. Oh, not Carolyn, as in mm-hmm. one word. No. Okay, and also not like the the, at, the the verb of caroling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to go Carolyn sometimes. She's like, yeah, we're going out Carolyn. <laughs> oh, so she's just saying it like a uh, a little bit of, like a, a slang. Slang. Uh, <laughs> let's move on with the movie, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we watched a movie today. Yes. Uh, Jordan brought us a, one of her favorite films. Yeah. Yes, Jordan, what movie did we watch today? Uh, I brought you the Twilight Saga Eclipse. Wow. That's right. That's correct. And you have been throwing a fit every time we do an episode of Twilight because we get so many facts wrong. <laughs> uh, we've almost never gotten anything correct. And I've been told every guess we have is wrong. That is not true. Oh, okay. Well, you need to whoa, take into consideration whoa. that we are two grown men <laughs> that have... Almost no reason other than this podcast to watch that movie. I was going to go my whole life not watching these films. Probably. Probably better for Well, you're welcome, baddies. (laughs) I... No, I'm very <laughs> thankful that we're doing this podcast because it led me to this, okay. to this series of Are films. Are you invested now? I'm emotionally invested. Okay. I respect. That. And I, <laughs> I'm financially invested. <laughs> have honestly rented it for four bucks <laughs> until I realized, oh fuck, that's right, I have Showtime. Why did I rent it for four bucks? Yeah, Showtime. Uh, yes, uh, there's like a, a weird deal with HBO that's going on right now, oh, and I have Showtime, nice. and so I downloaded the Showtime Anytime app on my <gasps> PS4. A lot of good movies. Okay. A okay. lot of good movies. Um, was this one on it? Uh, yes, yes. That's what I was saying. That's where it went. That's where it went. Because it's no longer on it's Amazon a, Prime. Yeah, I have the DVD otherwise. Yeah, no, so you're that fine. That was my other choice. And then I had to scrum up all of my DVDs to find that one. Mm-hmm. And it was, but it was worth it. I don't know. I okay. respect it. You, you you have a physical copy of it. Physical copies are important. Yes. And the rest of us new age humans <laughs> are just streaming everything. Um. If it pleases the court. Does it please you, Jordan? Am I, am I the court? I guess you're the sure. court in this aspect. Yeah. Uh, we watched a movie called Twilight Saga, colon, Eclipse. <laughs> Good. Glad you got it right. <clears throat> growth. That's growth, baby. Hey, that's growth, baby. <laughs> uh, it has a rating of PG-13. It was released in the year 2010. 
It has a runtime of 2 hours and 11 minutes and has a rating of 5 out of 10 on IMDb, a 48% on Rotten Tomatoes, and a 3 out of 5 on Common Sense Media. Jordan and Christian. I'm looking at the Google users right now. <gasps> Sorry, it's blown up. It's oh, the, the numbers no. are blown up on your screen, and it was... I had one of two decisions to make. Either laugh. Do I cheat La- yes. and be an asshole? Yep. <laughs> or do I be honest and be an asshole? And on this platform known as podcasting that promotes transparency mm-hmm. and honesty, mm-hmm. I'm going to say that I don't want to be a cheater. So I know the number. Do you know the number, Jordan, of Ooh. Google users that like this movie? I don't think so. I'm well, why don't you guess and we'll tell you if you're right or wrong. I'm going to say 96. We'll do it at the same time. One. Two, three. Wrong. 90. Oh, <laughs> I thought I didn't know what we were going to just scold her. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I thought we were just going to say sorry, the right number. Right, right. One, two, three. 91. <laughs> Wait, am I supposed to correct myself? Sorry. Well, I'm, you're the one saying sorry, meaning that you're saying it the wrong you're right, way. You're right, you're right. But we got it now? Okay, yeah, we got it. One, two, two three. three. Wrong. <laughs> I said Wong. <laughs> I, I get it. Well, I get I, it. I, I, <laughs> you get it. Ninety-one percent is it. the correct wow. number. That's still a lot higher than I was expecting. It but I also m- was in line for all of these movies. Well, there's a lot of romantic teenage girls that waited mm-hmm. in line and fantasized about a wolf just <laughs> tearing it up. Yeah, weird um, bestiality undertones in this movie. I disagree. Okay, uh, I got a synopsis coming at you. <laughs> right at you. <laughs> Danger! Ah. Once again surrounds Bella as a string of mysterious killings terrorizes Seattle and a malicious vampire continues her infernal quest for revenge. Amid the... Hello? <laughs> was that my mother? Yes, it oh, was. Hi, Mama. Oh. Hi, Mama. We're recording right now. Oh, my hi. mother kicked the door open here at the studio. We have some more chicken nuggets And here. aggressively gave us more chicken nuggets. <clears throat> I have an I inkling more. she just wanted to be on the episode. And I was like, we should have... oops, sorry. I hear some nuggets. Is that how your mom... I don't know. <laughs> I I know exactly what her <clears throat> accent is. I don't know why you went with that. Anyway, continue with your with the nitty gritty, please. Uh, Bella must choose between her love for Edward and her friendship with Jacob, <laughs> knowing that her decision may ignite a long simmering feud between vampires and werewolves. I don't like the hand gestures. <laughs> with the, with the, you know, <laughs> I got fine with you doing the synopsis. In the voices that you do it in. But once you're throwing up these gang signs that make no sense. Vampires? And werewolves. I think Ninja Turtles with this. And what is the other one? West Side? Werewolf. West Side, No, dude. this is West Side. It's not that. It's next to each other. It's West- either that or... Werewolves? Because it's two W's. Wow. I don't want to provide wow. him... Uh, that's... I'm... I'm <laughs> More so for those gestures. <laughs> All right, let's continue with it. I'm so sorry. It had a budget of $68 million hairs. Jordan, don't look. Christian Baltazar. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did this movie make in its box office? I want to I wanna go high, so I'm going to go like 110. One hundred and ten million dollars. Yeah, I'd say at minimum. Two hundred and fifty million dollars. Two hundred and fifty million dollars. And I ain't taking that back, Jack. <laughs> Would you like to amend yours? No. Okay. Two hundred and fifty million dollars. It made six hundred and ninety-eight point <laughs> four million dollars. I was way off. This was man. the biggest was midnight really release for seven years straight. Damn. It battled Harry Potter, didn't it? It did. In fact, they released it a month early just so it wouldn't be in the same month. So, man, with its third installment, too, it's just raking up more and huge. more fans. Yeah. By the time this came out, they knew exactly what they were doing. Yeah. yeah they they're... had that four-year gap ready, 2008 to 2012, mapped out. Is that what it was? So, 2008, the first one came out. Then 2009 was uh, New Moon. And now mm-hmm. 2010 yep. with Eclipse. Wow. So, once every year. Because mm-hmm, we have two more. Yeah. yeah. You have two more. They Good luck with that. Broke up. No, I'm <laughs> excited. I, it's a great honestly, it's a the more these movies go on, 
the more beautiful they get. Honestly. This one is the best one we've seen so far. I will say that right off the top. So much. It's my favorite one. I it is, so it is the best one so far. Laughed so hard. I <laughs> laughed harder during this movie than I have at actual comedic films. I wa- That's true. What are, I, I can't wait to find out what you're... So like, many. I'm so excited. Every single time, <laughs> every single time Jacob appears and looks Edward in the eyes. And can't breathe through his nose. And can't breathe through his nose. <laughs> he has the smallest nostrils and it's definitely so a deviated weird. septum. Yeah. Yes, and his chest is not big enough for the rest of that body. Oh, boo. His No, it's a small chest. It's a small lurk chest. You they could, almost told him no. Because of the chest? No, yeah, he wasn't <laughs> big enough for this film. He had to work out like every day just to make it even a thought of him becoming Jacob Black. Oh, because he's he's a werewolf. And yeah. I, I mean, if you're getting that much physical activity, you got to be a little bit... He's cut. I, don't know. He's I thought he did okay. I thought he looked all right. No, he looks fine. I, I am a... And full disclosure, we've talked about this in the past. <laughs> I am firmly seated, Team Jacob. And that's okay. What are, what are you? Uh, man, I just want... Bella needs to just focus on herself. Honestly, Bella You're shouldn't be with right. either... Yeah, also, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bella shouldn't be on with either of these men. Both of these men are extremely problematic. <laughs> so this is... This extremely <laughs> problematic. Absolutely. But they but, say that in the first movie. Do they? Edward does. Absolutely, yeah. I like Edward more, if I had to choose a team, Edward more, because at least he's aware of the danger that comes with being with him. So Jacob does, on the... No, he's Jacob like, on the other I can other make end. you happy. All you have to... It'll be as easy as Bella, breathing. Bella, it'll be as I'm, easy as breathing, I'm Christian. Right for you. Yeah, of course. Bella. No. He warms he her. He says that, but we've seen in this movie, we'll get to it, because there is a whole point where that is completely proven wrong. What do you mean proven wrong? Multiple times in all of the movies. Dude. She, she almost dies on his watch in New Moon. Jacob comes so close to just being so aggressive and turning into a werewolf. Yes. She he cannot control himself. He's trying That's to force fault, her to though. love him. He is passionate, guys. Mm. Jacob has feelings and emotions and what he wants to do more than anything is express who he is as a man. But let her and make the decision because she he, does. She asks him to kiss her. Not so later. She likes it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, she likes it. Later. She wanted on. it. But that's because she's a confused teenager. He's not making it any easier. He's like, I'm going to fight for you. Okay. And I'm going to kiss you wrongfully. Yeah. And then wrongfully. he threatens suicide. This guy like is toxic. I didn't say so he was bad. perfect. No, but you make him the best choice for Bella. And that He's makes better than no Edward. sense. No. He's way better than a 200-year-old oh, man. Goodness. No, a 200-year-old man a has year old wisdom. Woman. Has, that's a weird part that I Thank don't you. really want to dive into. Thank you. That's a little weird. Thank you. It's a little weird. It's not his fault. It's not it his is, fault. It is, it is his fault. He stays that age. He could have <laughs> married a vampire. He should be with I, redhead vampire girl. Okay, so this is where, like, so... Spoilers? No, this is where the a lot of my fact checking comes in because knowing the backstory, him and Rosalie were supposed to end up together. So originally, okay, so here's which one's Rosalie? Are you ready for the, the family head. tree? No, That's Rosalie's Victoria. the blonde. Oh, you're talking about Rose. Rose, Rose. Rose. Rose is the blonde. The blonde yeah. one who doesn't want to be a vamp. Yes. Yeah. Who has an incredible flashback. Yes. I wish the whole Very movie dramatic. was flashbacks. Both so flashbacks good. in this film. Good. I, all of the books are supposed to have flashbacks. That's what makes me the most mad out of all of these movies is that they didn't start doing that until this Eclipse. Movie. Whose yeah. flashback was it supposed to be in the first one? Um, Alice's, I think, is supposed to be in the first one. And whose flashback is it in the second one? Edwards is in the is in the first one. Oh. So Carlisle's, Esme's, and Alice's are all really supposed to be Esme's? in the first one. So Esme's the wife is Carlisle's wife. Ah, uh, Carlisle's only so Carlisle's only supposed to be like twenty three. Esme is only supposed to be about twenty two, and then all of the Cullen Hale kids are all supposed to be like sixteen, seventeen. Mm-hmm. So it's all which but, makes sense because they're in high school. Yeah, and they all look high school age enough. Yeah, what's well, gonna happen when Kristen Stewart turns like twenty? Is she or when um, Bella turns twenty? Well, don't spoil okay. it for us yeah. because the plan is we for her to turn into a vampire. Movie. That's right. That's right. That's right. Right. That's right. Step by step. Yeah. Step by step. Um, day by day. Uh, day by day. Step by step. I wanted to be included too. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> Name your favorite character from Step by Step. You know, Step. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, you pass. Um, Thank you. Is it Alan Thicke in that? <laughs> it is Alan Thicke. Alan Thicke. <laughs> um. um uh, your favorite. Let's start from your favorite scene, yeah. which is the opening. No. How are no? you about to say? Let's I mean, start from your favorite scene and good, tell her what uh, her favorite scene is. So I'm guessing. In every book, it kind of gets really weird, but I like in this one that they talk about Robert Frost's fire and ice. 
Oh. And that's the poem she's reading in the beginning. Yeah. And that's a lot of the entire series is Jacob is fire, Edward's ice. Mm. And the, the, the conniption, or not conniption. Yeah, I guess like her... her... Conniption? Nope. That's not the right word. Hey, I'll, no, I'll agree with that. And Thank I you. won't point it out. Alex. <laughs> Thanks. I don't Alex. Do you know what a conniption is, Christian? No, I'll, no I'm just saying in general... Alejandro's the type of person to go up and bat 50 times when it comes to saying words. And you can't just be hit like, run if you don't bat. Yeah, but I wonder how many strikeouts there were. <laughs> hey, even Michael Jordan had a free throw. Okay. Yeah. He also tried baseball and that didn't work out either. Actually, he did pretty <laughs> decent. Let's be real here. Not okay. based off of Space Jam. Though. He's no Bo Jackson. <laughs> Very uh, true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Bo no. Jackson. Favorite scene, please. I would say Jasper's flashback. Ooh. And Rosalie's flashback. Honestly, honestly, the flashbacks in general. Since we're here, good. I have some major problems with Jasper. That's Why? okay. We, that I want to get to those. Twat. Why Absolutely. are you confused? Why I have oh, I know with that? I know because he's a Confederate <laughs> soldier, <laughs> like general major. He was like a, like high up in that the Confederate did kill army. Kid vampires. Just oh, like and snap yeah, their necks. He has multiple we huge problems, sick. and then he's also just like, it's cool oh. now though because uh, I hang out with the Cullens, and it's like, no, no, hang on, bro. You were still a confederate. That is true. But that was like the whole thing. So the Volturi love them. Yes. The bad guys, Michael Sheen and all of them. Fantastic. Who's, Michael Sheen's not in this movie. Not in this but one. But he is in all the other ones at this point. But Miss Fanny is. Yes, Dakota. <laughs> not <laughs> really a fan of her acting in this one. Ooh, it's horrible. No. Yeah. It's actually really bad. Uh, Well, it was not. So she's supposed to be like a 10 year old girl. So actually the girl who ends up getting at the end yeah she was supposed to be jane so she, she was? was the original jane so she was the scary girl from the messengers do you remember uh -huh. that kristen stewart movie yeah where she and she was like the creepy i didn't kid. realize this actress had a little more yeah, to she, her other than just that part in this movie because yeah, they kind of just they glossed over her she had a huge part her. in the book Oh, they, they love glossing over girl. things in this uh, in this uh, series, don't they? Girl. It's so sad. So it opens with a random character who they make it seem like we should know who this person is. Riley. Well, we don't know it's Riley until at least <laughs> an hour yet. and a half in. I That's did fair. not know it was Riley, even when they pulled up the missing yes! poster. Yes! <laughs> so Jordan's giving me like a full explanation of who Riley is and what the backstory is. And I'm like... Does everybody know this watching this film? But I don't believe so. If uh, well, you, the, if you read the books, yeah. Well, I mean... But so they're expecting people to have read yeah, the books. That's exactly what they were doing. Yeah, it's, it, it's fan service. Yeah. Which it, way I would want for them to cater to the fans that actually read the books as opposed to just the general population going into it blindly, i.e. you and me. I.e. Harry Potter made it good for everybody, though. Uh, yeah, that's, but you still had to know some things, and they recapped a lot. Yeah. Twilight doesn't recap. That's the problem. It's not a problem. Eh, it's a little bit of a problem. <laughs> Previously <laughs> on Twilight... <laughs> On I love episode. you, Edward. <laughs> I love you, Bella. I love you, Jacob. Yeah, fuck it, dude. Yes. <laughs> These yes. fucking characters You're are crazy, it. dude. It's so bad. But I love... There's something about this movie that's just so charming at the same time. And it is? Yeah. And I can't get enough of it. It seems... It's like a... It's a, it's a trashy... <laughs> show that I would that I want to watch, but instead of it being like a series that are thirty minutes long, it's uh, five hours. movies that are two hours yeah, each. They're pretty collectively. I think people would people sat through the entire series mm -hmm. of movies. Were when those people Breaking detained at Guantanamo Bay? No. Oh, they paid for it. They paid like a hundred dollars wow. to go and sit for what ten hours I do in it. this. Yeah, just to watch all five of these movies. Honestly, it's wild. not the worst night that I could plan. <laughs> really, really fucking fun. You have to understand that what the misses okay. are, like where, yeah. where it misses and just some parts just really hit. Yeah. I will say the pacing of this movie is all over the place. This movie <laughs> is like so much out. The movie start, well, it does it. Yeah. Because to a to a um, Joe Blow like myself, it seems like they fit a lot into this film. And the beginning 45 minutes very slow like they are yeah. taking their time yet oh no i'm sorry the first 45 minutes are just like they're just ramming through it everything happens and then they're like all right well now it's a party boom they're at the party it's like all right now we're gonna go driving boom they're at the place and it's just like now we're at school now i'm on the back of a motorcycle now we're at this place and it's like what's happening here everything's moving so fucking fast and then then bell is in bed with edward, edward. And everything... That's how you saw everything. <laughs> slows down. Yeah, dude. And then from that scene on, it, 
They literally talk this fast. Because at the end of the day, that's who the that's who it's about. It's not about but, anybody but else. These are all side characters. Even when they go back characters. to scenes with Jacob, even Jacob's talking slow now. Like literally, they scramble through the first forty five minutes, and then they make us like slog through the last hour and fifteen minutes. But that fight scene. Mm. Ooh, uh, the fight scene was fun. I was, they that the the fight scene was cool. You know, I agree partially with you in terms of the pacing, but I wasn't bothered every single time for the past for this movie and the previous two in the franchise. I've felt the same way that it didn't feel like two hours. Yeah. There are uh, there are movies that are an hour and twenty minutes that felt way longer than this one, but I was purely entertained the entire time screaming to myself what the <laughs> fuck is going on why are you reacting that way every single time jacob and edward came face to face about to punch each other oh, yeah. i thought they were about to kiss <laughs> i thought they were about to just be especially i yeah. if i may jump a little yeah. jump we, the tent yeah. scene is my favorite <laughs> scene in the fucking movie oh you mean uh jacob and edward's cuckold scene Stop. yes <laughs> Yeah. Yes. I hate that yeah. Word. The scene where Jacob's like, "Hey, uh, you mind if I put my penis inside of her <laughs> just to warm her from?" Because much like a burrito needs to be warmed from the inside out. So you he takes watched her- a completely different movie. <laughs> Let me Street translate movie. this for the rest of the baddies. There's no penis insertion in this movie. Uh, I will just defend he's this shirtless. One. Just because he's shirtless, but that's kind of part of being a part of the pack, dude. For some reason, yeah. None of the people that are werewolves own shirts because they're gotcha. hot. They run at least like a hundred degrees warmer. He this goes, guy, yes, he said I it's a temperature stuff. thing. <laughs> Nerd. That's fine. And this is information that I need. He yeah. tells Edward, he goes, "Let's admit it, I'm hotter than you." Yeah. Oh my! Well, that <laughs> that line Jacob's, is not fan Jacob service. Jacob Black That's is the fact. fucking worst. Okay, so fu- I don't care. You what... mean Jacob Colin? Jacob oh, Black. Jacob Black, 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 Black. You, dude, don't. If there's anyone that you're gonna choose to argue with. Not this girl. Not this girl when it comes to this movie. I'm going to get something right over her on this movie. Uh, good luck, dude. We can. The I mean, budget. Or the budget. Man, that doesn't <laughs> fucking whatever, dude. The wig budget alone was insane Ooh, this time Yeah, around. which is weird because they spent a bunch of money on shitty fucking wigs. Yeah, but the okay, in the first one, the girl who plays Rosalie, they dyed her hair blonde and she is naturally a brunette who and they, they, they messed up her hair. a bunch of people then. No. No? Oh. Uh, Victoria yes. was a big one because it started with I don't even remember her name but then turned into Bryce Dallas Howard magically nice. from Jurassic World from and Jurassic also World. that one episode from Black Mirror and oh, Ron yeah. Howard's Knows daughter that. Good one. yeah Ron Howard's daughter that's true she also she's... directed a couple episodes on Mandalorian yep. and she's I like, like her amazing. she's gonna I get a like Star her. Wars series she's yeah. very I'm down she's for her she's doing the Bad she's... Batch isn't she she is doing the Bad Batch she's doing quite a bit actually she did a couple episodes of Mandalorian which were like the really good ones mm-hmm. and then she also is gorgeous she is she yeah good. she's a quite a looker i'll yeah. tell you that and definitely not a hooker uh alice is quite a looker too alice ashley green is mm. so pretty she was my childhood like crush. that hair like there's a thing when it comes to girls i either want it short or I either want it long choose something right <laughs> and she got that short part down and i'm like okay i'm not mad at it and that i i'm jealous of jasper because they have quite an intimate connection uh, very tender very yeah. tender, especially you know, he came from a very harsh background where he cannot trust women because the girl that he fell in love with when he was a Confederate soldier, yeah, was she turned him into a vampire. Turned into a sex. Yep, yep, and it's told him to kill she, kid vampires. She just looks right past. These movies gloss over things like they're nothing. Remember at the end of the other one when they're like, "Come right this way, tour," and it's like, "Oh, that whole group oh. of people, women and children and men included, are all going to their death." Oh, and yeah. they gloss over that like it's nothing. They also gloss over the Confederacy thing in this movie like it's nothing. And it's just like, can we pump the brakes for one second? Is nobody, nobody's going to ask a question. No one's asking like, hey, uh, is that kid going to get eaten too? <laughs> but that's, this is part of the viewing experience for me. Because if no one else is pointing out, You're I feel gonna. special Cause you seeing you the one pointing it out. Yeah. I'd be like. Why the fuck is he watching Jacob just <laughs> yeah. cuddle up next to them? And then they're getting along as he's cuddling. That's the Bella. Okay, since we're back in the tent scene. <laughs> that's the nicest Jacob and Edward ever are. Yeah. And Jacob's literally like mm-hmm. fighting a boner. <laughs> oh, especially. And Edward could. Yeah. 
read his thoughts. See, I think the big thing they glossed over through this entire thing is their power. The they all yes. They shall all love, they both love the same what woman. What is uh Jacob's powers? He's a werewolf. He's a fucking... I know, but I know he's a fucking <laughs> werewolf. But then like ask he... a better question. <laughs> he's not what? wolf form. Does he have powers? He's no. just strong. It's just what it's lies. it's a pack thing. They become like they all are <laughs> in tune with dude? each other. <laughs> yeah, this is Okay. Obviously <laughs> one of his powers is that he could break Bella's fist when she tries to punch him. Oh, that's so right. They- <laughs> he's, he's got like Superman strength. I think it ends up being the dumbest thing ever is that both of them are so powerful. Both Jake, both werewolves and vampires are so powerful because vampires are so cold and they are like stone. And it's a whole thing. And then werewolves are such like they have all this armor underneath and then they turn into giant dogs that are like 10 Warm. feet tall. Yeah. For what purpose? Other fighting that, the vampires that's exactly what it is is it's like a like a i don't know like an evolution thing as mm. they as the time goes and their their enemies are still there it's like the vampires are fighting the werewolves and everything the vampires have are to fight werewolves yeah. and everything the werewolves have are to fight vampires it's like oh but you know like if you guys didn't fight you wouldn't have to do that shit right it's specific like, evolution <laughs> no that makes sense you're oh. doing all this shit you're learning all this shit because you're fighting these people you don't have to fight these people which is but um, you do do they yeah do they it's, it's a territory thing, right? It is a territory thing. thing. That's what it is. Yeah. Sounds like they got their truth worked out. Because they could kind of, which it, it was very heartwarming when they actually had to work together. Jacob gets fucked up by one of those vampires. He'll live. And then Carlisle, being a doctor, yeah, is helping him out. So, actually, Carlisle uses that as a moment to be a gross sadist and breaks the arm and body of a young <laughs> werewolf just to get his sick kicks out because when we go back in and see jacob is not his whole arm in a cast when only his ribs were broken i think you're you might be the only person Didn't that we talk thinks it for that reason <laughs> i, I think he was re- trying to help jacob out. i think he was getting okay. his sick kicks out by breaking the arm of a child knowing that this was the only <laughs> time he could easily get away with breaking the arm of a werewolf no he would have just Fucking killed Jacob then. No, and then, that's like, too obvious, oops. Christian. No, no, too obvious. No, Christian. dude. I think they're actually if, they're, if there's any vampire that's mature, it's Carlisle. <laughs> Carlisle is holding it down for the Colons because he, they have to live incognito. This guy sees fucking blood every day because <laughs> he works in an ER because he's a good doctor and he resists the urge to drink on blood. Okay. He's a good vampire. He's a good vampire. Good vampire. He's a good twenty-three-year-old supposedly looking vampire. Absolutely. Is he twenty-three? Carlisle's twenty. He's, he's supposed to be twenty-three. Okay, but in the movie, hey, so oh, Peter Fascinelli is like in his thir- late thirties. He's married to Jenny Garth from Nine Hundred Two and There we go. Man, this is why we got you here. Because <laughs> those names and numbers mean everything to me. You don't know who Jenny Garth is? No, but I know Nine Hundred Two and Kelly from Nine Hundred Two and I'm familiar. Thank you. I can't picture her face. <laughs> You're getting very aggressive. <laughs> Keep it calm like me, man. Usa. Keep it calm Usa. like me. Did um, you pick back? Are you okay? No, no, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, this movie just gets me amped. It's a good movie. You, 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 I yeah. love this movie so much. What is your favorite scene? So I love when Jasper talks about his past. So obviously we have the, yeah. we have the flashback scene, but uh, I love that Bella looks at his scars and goes, oh, those scars are like mine. As if mm. you don't realize that they're all teeth marks. Um, but Jasper talking about it only because it is one of the sweetest love stories in this entire franchise. Him and Marie. Him and Alice. Oh. Him and uh, Alice. Dude. Yeah. So <laughs> Alice, they don't talk about her backstory, which is super interesting because she was in a psych ward. Um, <gasps> I, it was really like a woman's home in like the 1900s. This is in the book? Mm-hmm. Um, well, because she got a vibrator. She, because <laughs> she had visions. I don't think they let that into the psych think, ward. I don't think that was No, a that's thing. what they were invented in originally for was like in insane women's. Yeah. They would just like give them an orgasm. I don't think. Thank God that psych wards exist. So glad. Alejandro that's a real facts fact, exist. not an Alejandro <laughs> fact. That's just <laughs> real. You can look it up. Mm-hmm. Look it up. First vibrator. Mm-hmm. Well. Okay, continue with <laughs> Alice's backstory, or we're going to talk about dildies for the rest of the episode. <laughs> She might have, but I don't. She didn't need to. Oh, but she couldn't mm. remember anything. She could only. If she Christian had like visions, and so she was called to be crazy, but couldn't remember anything about her past. Poor girl. And then she died. Well, Whoa. she started to die. Carlisle saved her. Mm. Carlisle's the one. And she had visions, and all she saw was Jasper. Mm. And so she searched and tried to find him, 
and he was a like he was a bad vampire for a really long time from the time he had gotten changed to whatever and she found him like in some random state and the moment like they saw each other that was he knew he like needed to be better they for knew. her they knew and that was like the sweetest love story in the entire franchise because there's a lot i mean they're all couples he that's imprinted like a, on he, her now that's a fucking <laughs> love story that's it's not really bella weird. not not this no. toxic love triangle going no. on <laughs> it's bella, actually really upsetting. there's multiple this time the men in yeah. this film are so problematic it's honestly <laughs> It's honestly really upsetting to me as 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 a man uh, to see them be like, oh, you guys are the reason why women like are upset. Of, and like you guys do the thing that fucked up men. They're do. the They're worst. They're gaslighting her. They're fucking like bait and switching her. He does. He does the oh, I'll, I'll warm you move. It's <laughs> that's it's, Jacob. It's Jacob's all fucked up. All a dirty fucking Jacob. rascal. <laughs> Jacob's a <laughs> dirty <laughs> fucking Team rascal, Jacob, dude. Team Jacob. Dirty. He's so. Se- like it's good be vulnerable <laughs> be emotional be sensitive but that guy takes sensitivity to a whole oh, nother yeah. level the whole scene where edward drops off uh, bella to jacob mm-hmm. because they're planning the whole fucking fight scene uh, edward <laughs> looks at jacob says do you even own a shirt dude and <laughs> that's fucked up for edward to say no Why? because you- maybe jacob's poor no we no you're not wrong they actually. got <laughs> they got enough money for sure they could fucking figure it out i mean if billy can afford a wheelchair he can afford yes. a shirt. that's provided by the state so <laughs> edward sees jacob <laughs> oh man edward uh, sees jacob edward sees jacob and says that line mm-hmm. and to make him jealous makes out hard oh, with hard. bella like does an oil check on bella right in front of yeah, him yeah yeah and bella's it's like insane. i'll fucking do it i'll fucking make that guy jealous too she's like thanks and then once she walks over to jacob she's like what are you gonna do for me now jacob hugs this girl like he's about to squeeze her oh, squeeze her just, like a bottle of lotion smell yeah what <laughs> smells her takes takes in her sight and everything sounds. and she is not even tripping about it she's just like but uh-huh. neither of you have done that to a girl? No. Either one. Like, just, you've never hugged a girl in front of somebody else to be like, hey, girl. No, fuck up? no. Because I'm respective kissed, of those boundaries. But have you ever kissed, like, your girlfriend in front of other people to, like... Well, does the other person... Okay, Is let's that talk other about person Ed- deeply in love? Let's talk about Edward and Bella first. Mm-hmm. Are you going to, like, if you were Edward, would you not kiss Bella before you left to be like, yeah. hey, girl, I'm going to miss you? It's intent. I'm okay. going to kiss her because I will miss her, but I'm not going to kiss her... In spite of Jacob, I'm not gonna be like, look what I got that you don't. I would. I, <laughs> no, but also, Jacob's in the wrong for this because he was like an well, asshole. I'm gonna hug super fucking hard. Yeah. And then that, yeah, and that's Edward not cool. can read his thoughts. Yes, and see his boner that. through mm. his like pants because it's very clear. In Messy his sweat, in his sweat shorts. Messy. He like was wearing like cut off jeans and cargo shorts. Like this man doesn't even own a pair of pants. This is messy. Yeah, this is weird. pissing me off. <laughs> this is like. I fucking love this movie. <laughs> hey, you know, I'm not saying T, I'm not saying Jacob is a perfect man, but I am saying he's the perfect man for Bella. You know, the one note that I have for Edward G flat, uh, <laughs> G flat. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, pianists. <laughs> They're called pianists. Um, anyway, w- the one note that I have for Edward is that. Dude, just fucking, just fucking fuck her. Dude. Like, yeah, dude, come on, just like. What when are you he like about? tells her to get dressed again, I wanted her reaction to be like, "Oh, is it because I'm ugly?" Because what else would her reaction be to that? If you're telling a girl, "No, no, no, put your clothes back on." No, I mean, stop taking your clothes off. I mean, it's a respect thing. It's very respect. It. No, he's, it's very, but she's like already there. Yeah. Like she's like re- the they he brought her a bed into their home. Yeah, so just so she, she can sleep. sleep. There's yeah. a puddle. <laughs> For him or her? A puddle. <laughs> from him. I'll explain it to you when you're older. <laughs> Wait, um, a puddle from what? I'll explain it to you when you're older. I'm, uh, I'm older now by a few <laughs> seconds. Tell me. What the fuck is this puddle? What? What is this joke? How come I don't know? Is this a jizz puddle? Oh, do you think he like <laughs> masturbated? What's on going the on? Bed. That's where crumbs come from. Oh, it's more God. of a herb puddle. <laughs> oh, she's wet. Ah, oh, I'm stupid. 
I'm fucking. St- I thought we were talking. Okay, whatever. No, I get. I understand how a vagina works. I get it, dude. I get it, right? <laughs> smooth, Christian. <It's> smooth. <laughs> you do have a girlfriend, right? You do. I do have a okay, girlfriend. Okay. She Never. lives in Canada, though. When she come into the states? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, she doesn't want to Skype me or Facetime me. Weird, man. But she's still a model. <laughs> yeah, dude. These guys from this show called Catfish he contacted me, and I was like, "No, I'm Please, good. My girl's real." <laughs> I think they just want to date her too. I thought yeah, Catfish was for nice. fake girlfriends. <laughs> yeah, because this girl's as real as a nickel. Uh, <laughs> nickels are real. Nickels are really real. Actually. That's why. Why? What's wrong with my statement? Uh, zero percent, sir. Right? Um, Christian, what's your favorite scene in the film, dude? The tent scene. Every single time Jacob and Edward have any tension, yes, you've... I, I've made it very clear. Um, when Bella tries to punch Jacob and just the way she throws that right hook <laughs> is like she's never thrown a right hook before. No. They it say, was very straight on. It was very weird. Mm-hmm. Like she had practiced, but not very well. <laughs> she put like all of her momentum in all the wrong places. Yeah. Right? Straight I've never in the period. That's the that's Bella's like log line. Just put <laughs> all of your energies in like all the wrong places. Girl, just focus on yourself. Sense. Yeah, no. I mean, that's like the whole I don't know, the whole uh flashback, not even flashback scene when they're talking about the Quillyu tribe mm-hmm. and they're talking about all these things and it's like was this all really avoidable? Like you were right, yeah. but at the same time how did not all of you die? How it does she seem like everyone died? Yeah, they should have not should have, but like, that's what would have made more sense. Um, one of my favorite scenes, my favorite scene, since you guys asked is, uh, when they, um, we were wow. still we're talking, still talking about, <laughs> talking about my favorite fucking scenes. Are you the type of fucking person? That's like, <laughs> since no one asked me, I'm going to just tell people what I think right now. All right, time's up. I haven't talked for long enough, so now it's my turn. It's been 15 seconds. I need to go. Too long. Too long. 15 seconds and my mouth hasn't opened and I haven't said anything. I forgot what my voice sounds like. It's time for Alex to talk. It's the fucking time for Alex to talk. This is the best impersonation <laughs> ever. Hi, Alejandro Stop. Middleton here. <laughs> Selling cars down the street. What the fuck was that? What am I, a used car salesman? Come get your used cars. We got Hondas. Nope. We, we got, got, got a... <laughs> cards? Nope. My best friend, Colin Quinn, sells used cars with me. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, I'm Colin Quinn. How you doing? <laughs> You fucker, get off the street. I'm walking you. <laughs> <laughs> also, that's uh, Dustin Hoffman over here. He's my friend, too. Oh, fuck. All right, what's your favorite scene, buddo? <laughs> <laughs> Well, since you asked, um, I oh, like when the, when the werewolves have their, like, um, powwow, and, <laughs> and they tell the story, and they're just like, um, yeah, his third wife. And it's like, whoa, another thing we're glossing over. What happened to his first two wives? Yeah, dude. Oh, that's right. How come they literally make there. no mention to his first two wives? Oh, my gosh. That's such a funny <laughs> thing to point out. They didn't say anything. No, literally not one thing of like his first wife died drowning. His second wife fought off a bear. And his third wife yeah. fought a werewolf. And it's like, wow, that's. Good for him for remarrying because they all like died nobly. But it's like, what if one of them was like, his first wife divorced him because he cheated on her with his second wife, and then the second wife divorced him because he cheated on her with the third wife? We call that the Steve Harvey in our in our village. <laughs> and he's still the well, the most respected man in that tribe. <laughs> still the spirit man. Yeah, pop pop over there. <laughs> cheated on two women. Are this you is the third tribe. Yeah, this is he's pulling the Steve Harvey. Yeah, pop pop is okay. He's one cool. more hits the Morgan Free. What's his name? Pop pop. What? What's the name of the the the, the leader of that the tribe? Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, what's the name of the 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 the, the Quaalude tribe? Quaalude? It's not Quaalude. It's what's name? Quileute. Uh, no, his is like Oaxaca Oaxaca Kali or something like Oaxaca that. Oaxaca is a type of cheese. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> yeah that's where it came from. <laughs> okay, so th- well, that guy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, what's his name? Jacob. No, not Jacob, but we could get back to the Are main character. Are you talking about Jacob's dad? The one who's telling the story? Yeah, the one who's telling the story. Billy Black. Billy, Billy Black, BB. Black. That is Charlie Swan's best friend. Oh, uh, Professor Billy. Xavier, right? Bella's dad. Mm. 
Oh, we oh. haven't talked about Charlie. Charlie's losing it in this no, one, man. He's, not. he's, he's the best dad so ever. So drunk in this one. No, he's a good dad. So confused. Dad. Wants to bang Alice so bad. Is so I rude also to Edward. Bang Alice. That's not- dude, man, shit, dude. If I was Charlie, oh, so I mean, but- fast. With that stash, 100%. With that, yeah. Is he a good looking man? Oh, Alice he's a does very not want a stash Charlie's- ride. No, yeah, and like, she does. no, no, no. There has to be some, there's something. There's something. Jacob doesn't have one. There's something wrong with this conversation because Charlie is under the impression that Alice is still in high school because she technically yeah. is a high schooler. So oh. we're not going that far. I yeah. think he was just very fond of her because, you know. Uh, my daughter has actually a really nice friend. That's not Edward. Yeah, the, the, in the but books, Edward's they're best sister. friends. I mean, they become best friends very quickly. Like the and is so Anna Kendrick not in the book? Mm-hmm. No, well, her her character, her character is. Oh yeah. yeah, that's what I meant. That was um, yeah. She Jessica was in all of all of the books, and she wanted Mike. The, can we talk about the weird friends? Can we talk about how bad her valedictorian speech was? But that was the whole point. That's why it's such good acting. I was gonna say it was. It was good. It was some of the best acting that I've seen. No, that's seen literally in the, movie. the worst advice you should be giving high schoolers as they graduate. <laughs> that's seriously, every line of her speech is like the worst thing you could be I was saying, saying to her a high school graduate. delivery yeah. was good, dude. The writing. Was I didn't ask about that. I asked about the speech. Bad. Because when she was writing it, she was talking about cliches. Yeah. And so she was throwing cliches, dude. She was doing the. Uh, uh, mm, eh. I, missed it. <laughs> I missed it then. I missed the art of it then because what I saw was her being like, you know what? I'm gonna not. I'm gonna do the cliches, but in a different way. And by her doing it a different way, she's giving us the opposite advice. And the opposite advice. There's a reason why it's opposite advice because opposite advice doesn't make sense because it's dumb. Because if it was good advice, it'd be called advice, not opposite advice. You're not there was burning any. Yeah, well, that's uh, you should never be valedictorian because if that's how you're gonna give your speech, hey guys, you guys, El- Alejandro <laughs> here, <laughs> valedictorian, do whatever the fuck you want because what's advice when there's opposite advice? Fuck you. And my name's really Tony Pajamas. My that's name is really Tony Pajamas. I'm selling used cars down the street. Do you need a '74 Buick? There might be some blood left, but it's still there. It's still there. We saw we saw weird bicycles too. <laughs> the only two person bicycles. <laughs> only, only tandems. You got a partner? No problem. You don't got a partner? Just right on put the a, back. Put Just a dead body on there. One. It's fine. I'm Alejandro Tandem Bike Middleton, <laughs> and I sell tandem bikes only. Uh, I am not your valedictorian. I'm surprised I've gotten this far in my speech. <laughs> oh, I see security coming up the stage now. Thank you so much. This speech is brought to you by Honda Civic on the on 43rd Street. See you later. And remember, kids, buy a gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Twilight Eclipse. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wow. Oh, oh man. man, Jordan, you must have a lot of notes yeah. for this what, movie. What is the biggest thing that we're missing right now? What's the one topic that we haven't hit? Uh, the fact that maybe Kristen Stewart and Dakota Fanning were in a movie simultaneously to this one. Mm, Which what one movie? was it? They're in The Runaways. Mm. So they, uh, Kristen it. Stewart was Joan Jett. Dakota Fanning was also in the band The Runaways. She was also Joan Jett. <laughs> she was also Joan Jett. Um, Body double. But that is why both of them had to have wigs. Oh, oh man. Stuart's wiggy wig is bad. It was really bad. I didn't even but realize it was mullet. a wig. Yeah, she had a mullet what? in real life. A black mullet. It was really ugly. Can I see this? a picture of mullet uh, Absolutely, Kristen Stewart? And then can I see another picture of Kristen Stewart specifically from this movie? And I want to see if I could detect... Any wig action going on? I think all of the wigs were pretty... They were pretty noticeable, I mm-hmm. think, except for maybe, like, Emmett and Jacob. Emmett... And, Emmett's wearing a wig? Um, I think so. If oh, he, wait, no, that's actual Joan Jett. Hang on a second. Yeah, what you, I was <laughs> she like... She did look very similar. That doesn't look like Kristen Stewart, dude. That's a completely different woman. Yeah, that's Joan Jett. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she was rocking that while she was... Filming, so oh, yeah, that's that super was just, that, that was but that is hair, pretty moly yeah. moly. Um, you know, I have respect for Kristen Stewart though. Is she a better actress now? Yeah, I think she's gonna be the new Princess Diana. She's she fil- she's currently filming a movie um, about her. My mom's gonna flip a table. I My mom is obsessed with Princess, Princess Diana. Diana. Poor Princess yeah. Diana. We went by uh, when we were in Paris. We went by the flame that they keep for her mm. from where she like crashed and stuff. Oh. It's pretty emotional when you like even just dry- driving by because so many people still put flowers out every day. Yeah. And people stand and kind of watch and things like that. It's pretty crazy. She's a very sad story. My mom's been watching The Crown like crazy. Yeah. Oh. She is obsessed. <laughs> Your mom shouldn't be getting facts from The Crown though. I don't know if she <laughs> thinks they're f- 
I don't. Knowing my mom, she might think they're facts. Yeah. That this okay. is basically the same thing as news. I think I think that's the problem with Netflix. Yeah, when they do like historical... Uh, Things people are like, oh, I know what happened to Queen Victoria. I watched The Crown. I've seen The Crown. It's like, no, ma'am. No, no, no. Um, no. I would like to say it real quick, though. What? Bella has grown a lot, yet also somehow loses so much of her maturity every film. Like, she gains stuff, and then by the next film, lost, lost all of those knowledge all of that morals that she gained in the p- previous film she's lost almost all of my brownie points yeah right she's doing all the wrong things in this film the only time she seems like a normal teenager with a good head on her shoulders is when she's having a conversation with her dad mm, about sex about sex because that was like <laughs> oh this is a grounded conversation yeah. that i could actually imagine happening in real life because her the way she treats that was really good actually her relationship with I'm jacob <laughs> yes I'm a, i don't want to have to talk with you mom beat you to that and she's running upstairs she, but and, the, and she goes mom beat you to it 10 years ago and a great response from a great father you didn't have a boyfriend 10 years ago. Mm, good. Right? Charlie's one's a great dad. Charlie's a... Yeah, he's great. He's I think he's great. He's a good dad. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's trying how... to push her onto Jacob. That's weird. That's where only, I disagree with him. Only because... What? He likes She Billy. went to Italy without telling him, and twice in two movies did she just leave and say, you know what, Charlie? I'm going to go live with my mom. Fuck you. She and didn't say that. She she said, what are we going to do? Go and eat burgers at the diner for the rest of my life? Yep. And she left him the first time when she was running from James, Victoria's boyfriend. Um, yep. And then in the second one, goes to Italy. And rightfully so, Edward tries to kill himself, which is also rightfully manipulated. Rightfully so? That she like goes to Italy. To oh, save I thought him? rightfully so that Edward that he tries, tries to kill yeah, that was a weirdly, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> really weirdly structured sentence. I was like, I you might have a point to this, but yeah, um, no. Moving on. <laughs> That's not Edward's fault, though. Mm-hmm. She kind of just did all this behind Charlie's back. Poor Charlie, yeah. just trying to be a good dad, good single dad that doesn't even want to remarry. Right? Edward doesn't even really yeah, want to be with Bella. Sure. Edward wants to. Yeah, he, he does. He's obsessed with he's her. He's constantly like, nah, I really don't want to bite you. Nah, I don't really want to kiss you. Nah, I don't Do really want to. Do you want to know why? Why? Because he can't read her mind, which was the whole point of the entire first movie. He also smelled her blood and said it was the sweetest blood he'd ever smelled. But which not is- in this one. That's how it is. That's why he won't do anything with her. Oh, I thought he. I thought when she cut her finger and was smearing it all over the place and he was like, it's okay. It kind of makes me sick now. Did he say? Did he say sick? No. No, I don't. I think no? you're paraphrasing this movie. I think that's what he said. No, no. I think it say? doesn't bother me. It doesn't, it doesn't bother oh. me because in the last movie, everyone tried to eat her. It's a big difference when you mixed up. <laughs> I think I was pretty close. Not being bothered and being sickened. You make me physically ill. Yeah, it's like saying like, oh, Thanks, you know, rascal. Joe Schmo over there. No, I don't. I don't care about him. Rather than Joe Schmo over there. Makes me sick to the fucking stomach. That's what you're saying. Joe Schmo has been unplayed for six months. You should leave him <laughs> alone. Okay, he's trying really hard. Um, ah, Charlie's a good dad. So Great dad. dad. Charlie's a good dad, and I just don't think that he should promote Jacob because he, little does he know Jacob is really worse. forcing himself. Well, not worse. Upon. I think Jacob is perfect for Bella, but but the fact that his da- the dad what well, the fact that the dad is pushing. Her onto Jacob, that's the worst influence. But Jacob is better for her. All right. Saved it. What? You didn't <laughs> save much, but... <laughs> Just repeated yourself in a different way. <laughs> We're going to put a poll up on Instagram and ask what... Uh, what we need I to do it again. We've done it before. <laughs> 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 okay. 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 Well, That's great, dude. That's I fucking awesome. That. <laughs> you yes. always got to pull up? That's great. <clears throat> so good for you, man. Uh, I should call a doctor, actually. It's been <laughs> over four hours. <laughs> <laughs> That's why there's no blood circulating through your brain. My brain? <gasps> Are you a vampire? I do have to wait until you give me permission to cross your... <laughs> like what would you rather be? Boys. What? Vampire or werewolf? Werewolf. Werewolf. Say werewolf. I was going to say, say werewolf one more time. <gasps> There's a letter L in werewolf. that word. Werewolf. Werewolf. Man, he's werewolf? like a werewolf. child. One more time. Werewolf. Okay, and, and why? Why would you? Why? I feel like you'd be the type that would want to be a vampire because you want to live forever. Um, and a werewolf, you, know, you got to be shirtless all the time. Easy peasy. <laughs> well, if I look like Taylor Lautner, then get get to working, mm-hmm. boy. 
<laughs> but if you're a werewolf, you have to do you have to imprint on someone, and that's fucking weird. That's crazy. Uh, no, but Homeboy got to imprint on two girls, and I think mm-hmm. that's the move. That is also not how it worked. Oh, <laughs> you explain to us. Yeah, can you explain the whole? While you're here, <laughs> because I kept, I did. This is I love this. I did keep asking stuff. like, oh, is he imprinting on Bella now? And you're like, no. I was like, oh, because that's but not now how it he's works. imprinting on her. And you're like, no, no, no. But I was like, how do you know how it works? Do we see him do it later? Yes. Uh, Christian, have you seen Hotel Transylvania? Oh, Adam Sandler's yeah. thing? No, I have not. Because we don't watch kid films. You know what? It's no, but I hear that's really good. I just it haven't gotten to it. So there's a thing called The Zing, and it's where... It's Andy they put in Miracle Whip. Mm-hmm. Andy Samberg's character and Selena Gomez's character look at each other, and it like causes this like thing. It's like automatic love at first sight kind of thing. That's what imprinting is. Mm-hmm. And so Sam, who is in charge of the werewolves, was dating Leah, who is a new werewolf in this movie, and they were like in love, whatever, high school sweethearts. And then he locked eyes on this other girl, Emily, and felt the zing. And they both felt it. And he said, sorry, Leah. Bye. And Whoa. started dating Emily because he had no choice. Because as soon as you... It's like your partner for life. It's like penguins. And you like have to stick with that first that penguin. Oh, that makes, yeah, 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 yeah. You have to. Oh, shit. That's how it works. Penguins are, yes, monogamous. Yes. So Jacob has imprinted on... No one yet. No one yet. No one yet. He wants to, he... desperately wants to on Bella. Mm-hmm. Why doesn't he? Wouldn't that make her like him? Yes, but she, it's like a... She has to be, she like, has to like it. Yeah, it's like a soulmate she thing. She has to want mm, it. Yeah. But she doesn't love, she says in the movie... She mm-hmm. loves him, but no. But she lo- no, she loves him, but she loves Edward more. Yeah. Yes, exactly. What the f- does that mean? Oh, those are fucking Jedi mind tricks. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. That's, High school girls that's, would play. That's like, I don't want to date you yet mm-hmm. <laughs> it's kind of it's 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 basically it's almost keeping your options open I, exactly I yeah, okay, keeping Bella. keeping jacob close keeping him ready pushing him enough to not be as close as edward but like yeah. not pushing him too far away because if edward you know doesn't work out then homegirl still has a still has an option on the menu and not just an option mm-hmm. a powerful warm 10-foot wolf <laughs> Damn, Honestly, dude. why didn't he turn into a... Can he turn into a wolf willy-nilly? Mm-hmm. So why didn't he turn into a wolf in the tent? He could have given them both warmth. I think Because he's Edward all... doesn't need warmth. Okay, well, he could have been Neither warmer should... for homegirl than Big Spoon. I think the wolf fur would have been warmer than gross body. She's a pretty tiny human. I don't think... I think he was able worked. to... Yeah. He mm. was able to cover her up pretty well. Yeah, dude. I don't well, know. Well, if I was Edward, I would have much rather have a dog snuggling my girl than a half-naked horny boy. Huh. Maybe that was Jacob's intention was like, I want to feel you mm, as a gross. human. But isn't it like a, it's like a defense thing. It's willy nilly, but it's like a, def, it's a, def, like a. Are you asking me? No, I'm telling you. Oh, okay. Like that's kind of how it is, is it's not like a, hey, I'm just going to turn into a wolf because I want to. It's because there's potentially oh. something happening where I need to fight. Oh, I thought they could do it whenever they wanted willy nilly. They can, but it's more of like a response thing. Oh like you don't need to because why would you want to be a wolf all the time that's kind of weird would what you, else are we I getting wrong kind of cool um yeah since since we're here since we're here what are some of the things that we have gotten wrong like pretty pretty wrong in the past twilight episodes i haven't listened to them in a while oh <laughs> Sorry. anything you could think um, of in this episode that we need to be corrected on because i know that we're getting a little emotional at least i am i'll speak for myself i'm getting a little emotional because i just love this movie they all kind of have powers. Not all of them, but they're all pretty... Um, so, like, Jasper, they don't talk about it much, but he can control emotions. So, like, he can... Mm. So, when someone... He can... Uh, that's why he was really in charge of the newborns in, in, during the Civil War time, was because he could control how they felt and could make them feel what he needed them to so they could fight mm. or they could be in a certain moment. That's why he's also important. Alice can see the future. Yeah. Um, Bella doesn't have thoughts. a power. Uh, yeah, Edward can read minds. Uh, Carlisle's a healer. How about the buff guy? I think he's just really strong. He was attacked by a bear. That was his backstory. Oh, shit. Is that's how they found him. Was I'm he... trying to see that. Yeah, I want to so, see. Do so, we get to see that? No, that's what sucks is they Please. all have backstories in these books. So like Rosalie, we watched, which uh, you guys were talking about Boardwalk Empire yeah. a while ago. Yeah. And the guy who plays Royce... Who is mm-hmm. the guy, uh, I don't know, Rosalie, the, the guy. The drunk boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He Whoa. plays, I don't know his name. Half-Face Man. Half-Face Man in Boardwalk Empire. Remember Jimmy's friend? I've only seen the, the first episode, so. Damn it, Christian. 
I'm not what? far. I'm not far. Ahead. You've only seen one episode. Really? I thought you. Yeah. I thought you watched it all. Yeah. No, that's what I told you in the episodes. <gasps> is I just started Boardwalk Empire, but I haven't finished it. Oh, mm. buddy, now I feel well, bad. So okay. Oh, I'm, I'm not. Sorry. Uh, nothing's I, wait, ruined I'm for so me. Sorry. No, it is. Nothing's it is. ruined for the me. Entire second season. Half face, man. Yeah. Stop. I don't know what that means. All right, we're gonna. Baba bully, baba bully, baba bully. Um, baba duke, baba duke. Can I? Oh, I can't say that. That's bad. <laughs> That's in the movie. It's okay. Uh, okay. Anyway, uh, Jordan, mm-hmm. do you have a f- best person on set award? Yes. The girl. Would you like to share it with us? Yeah, too. I was Again, thinking about it for a second. Um, I'd say Nikki Reed, who is Rosalie. She's an absolutely phenomenal actress. Um, she's kind of weird now. Uh, she's Why? very like vegan and very like anti, kind of anti vaxxer which is kind oh of, kind of okay yeah it's kind of weird um and she's married to the guy from vampire diaries so they have kind of a weird Whoa. thing but she's a great she's really amazing um and i really like watching her character grow because in the next two movies she'll grow a lot spoilers. too spoilers no it's not that's no that's not a spoiler <laughs> at all that makes me very excited for her that actual characters are getting some growth yeah i think that's super important in series like that because i feel like they don't they're just supposed side to be char- side characters yeah, side characters are often left pretty flat mm-hmm. but, what are your guys's what's yours oh thank you Do for you asking one? you want to go first or me no i guess you can go I don't care if it's if it's affecting you emotionally that you <laughs> and are just chomping at no, the No, 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 just psychologically. Go ahead. Oh, okay. That's fine with me. Um, I'm going to go with Robert Pattinson because he, you can tell he's holding back and he can tell that he's, I think he's actually the best actor on set there. The best person on set cooking up ideas but knew he was restricted because he's being, he knows he's yeah. being typecasted by this role. I that's think at the time. True. I believe the best person on set award is Bryce Dallas Howard who is stepping into <laughs> a role that's already been created by a different actress, taking over it, making it her own, and choosing to make her own decisions, thus making her the best person on set. That's that's good. These Thank are you. all opinion yeah. based and, and I'm not going to. We're all right. Yeah. Yet we're all wrong. At, in someone yeah, else's yeah. lens <laughs> is what it is. Uh Rate it, please. Rate, rate, rate the movie. Rate it. Rate the movie. Rate Say five out of five. Wow, not actually movie. a big surprise for me. Actually, That's five out of five for me too. Dude, That's such a fun a watch. Bit it's of a just a, dude. Well, yeah, I'm with... four point eight nine for me. Okay, way to be very close. specific. Um, be different. It's fine. Yeah, it's pretty much a five, but I don't want to <laughs> be in cahoots with you two. <laughs> dude, it can be that good. This movie, yeah, there's a it's... lot of errors and holes in the directing. And in the storyline... Of the three, it's the best. Of the three, it just gets better and better. And The I, flashbacks are good. The fighting montage is good. The wolves and the vampire fight scene is incredible. The CGI is nice for the wolves. so much better. It's Absolutely. getting much so better. The emotion, it's just... it's Everything's brought to level seven. And then I can only imagine they go up to eight and ten in the last two. I would even say the makeup in this movie is significantly better than well, the last two. I mean, you have the their hair. scars... The yeah. hair, but you have their scars, you have the contacts, you have a lot of contacts, so many things. I mean, Emily, who is the girlfriend, her scars pretty amazing, not CGI. Oh, yeah, it was very good. Those are real scars. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, wait, what do you mean, not CGI? She got <laughs> fucked up for this role. Yeah. I was like, oh, there's actual practical effects. She's but a I'm real kidding. wolf. God damn, that's what you call method acting. <laughs> After she failed the audition, she went and got a wolf and did that. And then she went back. From the and black like, market? Uh, now I have to have it because I'm prepared for the role. And so um, Ewan McGregor is actually how she got the role. He helped. He spoke to the producer and helped her get a role. Oh. Um, Jordan, do you have anything you want to tell the baddies before we Scooby-Doo out here? Um, what's up, baddies? How you doing? Really happy you were here. That's all I got. Oh, okay. okay. Very Vision? chill. Usually, <laughs> some people have said in the past, um, I don't know. Marjani well, said, "Keep drinking," <laughs> on his. Yeah. Well, um, you ask you ask our guests a question, don't you? Yeah, I thought that was it. But no. okay, this is the real. Okay. At the end of every single episode with the guest, at mm-hmm. the end of every movie episode, I like to just ask if there's one thing that you could leave the guest with, in terms of advice or just I don't know, just a. A story. I mean, to do, just you know, <laughs> what's the one last thing you want to tell them? And we'll push in right here on the camera. Just push in right there. Push in. Um, dilly dilly, and 
Always be yourself. Dilly dilly and always be yourself. I'm a fan. I, those are two things that I can stand by. <laughs> yes, yes. Same here. Uh, this was a fun movie. This was a fun episode. I had a good time. Um, I fucking love this <laughs> this franchise. I know. Hey, you know what? We're we're invested now. Yeah. You've got. You've only have two more. You're over halfway there. We're gonna do the last two in one, right? I don't want to break up the two into two episodes. I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. I'm kind of down to just like to string this left, along. I don't want to be left on a cliffhang. You know. That is one thing that I dislike is the fact that we are doing since we're doing this for the podcast. I can't just watch this willy nilly. Yeah, I just, you have to sit. Uh, you have to pay attention. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's a lot. Subtitles on. And I like to go in kind of ignorantly, like not doing research on what the book has to say, because it's already enough. Whatever they have in terms of this movie, it's already enough. I feel like if you just watch this movie, you get a lot for what it is. Yeah. But you don't. I mean, the books are always nice. I yeah. think I got enough from just watching, so I don't need to touch the books. Nah. Plus, I haven't touched a book since 2007. That's <laughs> n- that's true. a lie. <laughs> Every other episode, you are chomping at the bit to brag, I read this book! <laughs> and not telling people that it's like, I read part of this book. I read most of it. <laughs> How far do you get? I stop after the introduction. <laughs> after the <laughs> I get the gist and then I put it down. <laughs> the author's biography on the back. Read another book today. Got it. And and it's a biography as well. So it's two yeah. books in one. Yeah. Okay. On to the next oh. book. Hmm. hmm. Tolkien. Okay. Stephen, <laughs> Stephen King. Oh, didn't know about that. Two in That's one day. Two books in 10 minutes. <laughs> next author. Lee Childer. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Very good. C.S. Lewis. Hmm. Hmm. Really good. Hmm. Tom Clancy. <laughs> All, all the Rainbow Six series. I'm confused. Is Tom Clancy the author or the main character? I don't really know what's happening here. I don't here. know. Oh, he has video games. Hmm. Now read. I'm into it. <laughs> now I can put these dumb books away. Oh, man. Speaking of dumb, I feel fucking silly. Jordan, thank you very much. You it's so been a much, wonderful, guys. splendid time. Thank you for supporting the podcast as much as you do. Thank mm-hmm. you for supporting the shirt. Show off the shirt to the baddies right there watching this on YouTube. Once again, baddies, visit icbtb.com or itcan'tbethatbad.com to get your favorite merch from us and support the podcast. It really does mean a lot. We have Otis Stop Kissing Me stickers. Um, we restocked on it because we basically sold out at first. Get them, get them while they're still warm. Get them while they're piping hot. We got new merch in the works. And so we'll be dropping that shit. It's going to be hot. Um, and, you know, hit us up. DM us. Email us. Um, and rate and review us. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And Christian, you mentioned to me earlier that you really are looking forward to getting pictures of people's knees sent to you, right? Yes. I'm a so, big fan of rhinos and nothing. So if you can take a picture of your left knee and send it to Christian's Instagram, it's at Christian has asthma. Yes. Uh, go ahead and send pictures of knees to Christian. And you can always follow me at call underscore me Jesus. And Jordan, your Instagram is? Uh, Descendant of Love. That's right. And if you don't know what that means, you can go back and check out our Tuesday episode. All right. Sing us out, Jordan. Uh, it can't be that bad. Louder. <laughs> yeah, we have a microphone. Use your microphone voice. <clears throat> it can't be that bad. It really can't. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be that bad, though.